Hey guys, welcome back to Film Feud. I'm Jeff. I'm Lex. And I'm the one about to be roasted. My name is Juan. That's <laughs> <laughs> next week. And we got a very iconic superhero movie. Two movies about well, this super iconic movie. Man, <laughs> Spider, it's 12 o'clock. <laughs> Lex. We're doing um, Spider Man and The Amazing Spider Man. Yes, so one man, two men, amazing. Many men. Two spiders. Jeff, take it away. Okay. <laughs> um, well, we can start with uh, the original Spider-Man yeah. first. Um, I haven't seen this idea. one in a while. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen this one in a while. And something that really stuck out to me was how good the effects were for like the time that came out. I know 2002 isn't that far away, but there's a big difference. At this kinda. point, it's pretty far. Yeah. Yeah, like that's almost like... 2000, and that's almost 16 years ago. Yeah, so wow, oh my god, that's kind of crazy. And yeah, the effects were pretty good for like the time period. I mean, it's not like fantastic, but no, it's not, it's not shit it. either. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like it, it, they, they make use of what they have in a really good way. That they hide. You could tell the CGI is there, but they hide it kind of well. But, yeah, it like well. I didn't think it was like. Ridiculously obvious. No, I didn't, yeah. I didn't either. It didn't stick out. It didn't like, and if, if, if it did stick out a little bit, it didn't bug me. It that didn't much. take away from the scene. Yeah, I think no, that's the best not way at all. To describe it, so. I definitely agree. And I thought also this first Spider-Man was a bit darker in tone. I mean, there was there was comedy, but overall, I felt more serious too. Yeah, it was a more. It was. It seemed more serious. Like there was, like just an overlaying of. Like darkness to the entire mm-hmm. movie, unlike the Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, the, the Amazing Spider-Man is a little more lighthearted, and this, the uh, Spider-Man 2002, is not so much. I mean, there's definitely comedy there, and it does work. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I think overall it's just a bit more serious, which doesn't yeah. doesn't hurt the film in, in any way. No. I think that's one thing I like about it. But yeah, it's definitely there. Um, yeah, I think that's true. Also, what I like also is. Uh, how the webs were natural. Yeah, that I really liked. Skin. I really liked that. I didn't like it so much in the other one that it like It was it something was, he built. It was like manufactured. Yeah. I didn't really know. I remember as a kid, like I would keep going like this in <laughs> hopes that one day it'll finally work. <laughs> something shoots out of nope. here. <laughs> no. No. Not yet anyway. Not yeah. There any spiders around here? Yeah. Um how about no, I don't right want here, that. Bite me. I don't want that Please. responsibility. I didn't care. I had these with nuts. Wow. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a city for you to fly I just, around on. <laughs> well, no, I, I just use the other powers, like the super speed and instinct. <laughs> oh my god, that was really well for sports. In sports, the yeah. The reflexes would think. help you, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> and uh, also for Spider-Man, I have, I thought the music in the first one was a lot better. I feel like it had more of a score. I think Danny Elfman did this, uh, was the composer. Mm-hmm. And you could tell the score was, but there was a really good score to that movie. And it, you know, it, it helped the movie a lot. And I think this, this well, I'll get, we'll get to later, but The Amazing yeah. Spider-Man, I don't think really had a score or like a definitive score. It wasn't score. memorable. No, but yeah. the Spider-Man was. It wasn't like reoccurring. Yeah. No. Like the, the yeah. first Spider-Man, like you could tell, you, it kind of, this was Spider-Man's theme that yeah. Yeah. came in. Yeah. I thought the feel for their scores were similar, mm-hmm. but it was the first Spider-Man that had like a reoccurring theme that you're like, okay, this is Spider-Man's yeah. theme. And that made it like memorable, and with the other one it yes. wasn't so much that. It was just like, oh, okay, this is happening, and it was just music that you were listening to, it wasn't anything special. Mm-mm. Like there are a few parts where I feel like they kind of just, we don't have a score, so we're just gonna... Yeah, just like throw something like, in there. Like the, the scene with the list with uh, the doctor in, in lizard form and Gwen in that room hiding, mm-hmm. it was just kind of like someone smacking a piano. Oh, yeah. Like that works yeah. in horror movies, but I don't know, I feel like for a superhero movie there should be more, more of a score. Yeah. It like, just felt like someone smacked a piano every now and then, it was like... <clears throat> And it was like, yeah. I feel like it seemed kind of cheap. Yeah, yeah, like a cheap, like, what do we have? Uh, this is kind of spent, so let's just do what hard moves do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like, feel like there, there could have been something there. Like they threw it together real quick. Yes, uh, they didn't spend much time with the yeah. score. I mean, even though it was cheap, I still jumped. <laughs> Me too. I jumped too. I, I always jump. felt you jump. I always jump, so it's no. It's <laughs> oh, it's just like, change. <laughs> I always do. Oh, man. Uh, that's all I have for the Spider Man <laughs> first one. I don't know if you guys have anything else to add. Wow, I guess we know who the favorite is. No. Um, <laughs> no, I have, I, I have a lot of news this time. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, I don't know. I just like to say that, like, for me, I think I, if I remember correctly, I did watch the original Spider Man in theaters when it came out. 
and it has stuck with me since, you know, subconsciously. So I'm not saying anything. What did you think of MJ? Com oh, oh. Compared to compared to Gwen. I was I think that they both serve their like they're both well acted. Uh, this is what I wasn't get into in Dexter Amazing Spider Man was I felt like the chemistry between Peter Parker, Andrew Garfield, and Emma Stone was better mm -hmm. than in than Kristen Dunst and Tony McGuire. Yeah. I don't know, that's just me. That's something I noticed. Especially <coughs> in the second one, the second Amazing Spider Man. That's, I know that movie has a lot of downsides. It's not the best of that series. It has a lot of plot holes, and yeah. but the one that shines is their chemistry. I think it works really well. Yeah, I think it. I I like their dynamic more. I think because mm. I feel like with like MJ it was kind of like ill conceived. Like you feel like she's kind of like he's trying. To, he's chasing her and like. She's like, oh, I don't really like you, but like, you've always been there for me, but like, I want something better. Yeah. Like, it's that sort of relationship. And does it just like snap to her until the very end? She's like, yeah. you know, I, she confesses her love. It's like, exactly. Well, where were you the first hour and a half? half exactly. It's a little bit unrealistic, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like in Amazing Spider Man, it's a little more natural. It happens a little naturally. Yeah. It doesn't seem so rushed yeah. or like. I feel like. Like, this is more, like, real, realistic, as, you know, as real as it can get, and then this one yeah. is, like, it's movie-ish. Like, yeah, it has movie kind of cliche. It's like a movie magic sort of deal. Yeah. It's kind of like, oh, yeah, the, then he has to get the girl, sort of, not really. Mm. It's like, say, yeah. hooray for Gwen for asking out Pete. Pete, Pete. yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, I forgot that happened, and I was like, wow, because, uh, you know, we just yeah, watched watch that, that one first. And I was like, you know, because Pete's like fighting for her the entire yeah. time. But in this one, she makes it a shit and just yeah. kind of like invites him over. Exactly. Like, what am I watching? Yeah, yeah. Like, whoa. But then we have to remember that. that MJ and Gwen are two different people. Very like, different. They're not, they're, not the, they're not in any way the same character. Yeah. So, like literally and like Very by, by acting standards. So. Yeah, I've heard that too. Um, yeah, they're, they're conceived as like completely different characters. That's all I have for the Spider-Man. If you want to move on to the I'm next good. one, yeah. All right. So uh, first, first thing I have here is, I think for me anyway, I think Andrew Garfield kind of fits Spider-Man better. For yeah. Me. Like I, I don't know. He kind of looks like how I would picture Spider-Man. Like just looking from like comics and other depictions of him. Mm. I don't know. I feel like to me, Andrew Garfield fits that role better. I feel mm. like he fits it. Better in the sciency aspect. I feel for some reason in in um, Spider-Man that he, Peter Parker, is more set as like a photographer and not as a scientist for some reason. And like in the Amazing Spider-Man, he's more of a scientist. And I don't understand like why that's such a discrepancy. But like, yeah, there, it's there. And he was a post like that Peter Parker yeah. story. Like, he's more of a scientist. scientist. Yeah, yeah, and that one does kind of kind of he's more of a photographer. Than... Yeah, which is strange because like. Like he gets awards and stuff for being, but he kind of brushes them off. Like that's a side story. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, it's kind of there. Like yeah. oh, you won science. Right. The science yeah, and he's just like, mm -hmm. yep. Let's kind of I, did, over. I did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. 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 I was kind of fast, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, whatever. But, but my photography skills are great. Yeah, that's even better. You should see my pictures. <laughs> yeah. It's like that. It's like what? Yeah, I don't know. Go ahead, Juan. I was just gonna say I don't know. I can't really say too much because I didn't see any of the comics, so mm -hmm. I don't know who fits a truer Peter Parker. For me, it's Tobey Maguire, but that's just because no. I grew up with this, the original one, not with any comics, yeah. but... I feel like... What do I know? He... <laughs> like, Tobey Maguire is more of, like, the stereotypical, like, nerd, like, looking kind yeah. of... Like, he fits that archetype a lot better, mm -hmm. but, I mean... Mm. I think Andrew Garfield fits the nerd role well, or he, he his acting does. I mean, I could see how you would not see him as a nerd, yeah. but I think his acting makes up for that, and I, I don't know, I think he definitely adds, especially when he, when, uh, he has the glasses on. He kind of Yeah, I feel like that adds glasses. to it, but then at the same time I get that very much like, here's a pretty girl putting on hipster glasses. Like, I get that feeling. Yeah. That's like, oh. he's trying to no. be nerdy, but he's not. Like, I feel like that's how I get. But like, I it's not it. that he's not believable, it's just that like, I feel like he's too good looking to, oh, okay. to really like, fit, like fit that Andrew whole Garfield's thing. A pretty good looking he's man. Tim McGuire, you're you're great. I mean, I don't you're think, awesome. Yeah, so, yeah, he's not bad looking. <laughs> yeah, great really, yeah. Michael Sarah esque looking. Yeah, oh, yeah wow. very Michael Sarah. Personality. 
they that should, one they both have. They should get together and like talk, and they should have a conversation, God. record it. Yeah, that's something both. They'll just smile at each other. <laughs> yeah, it's really awkward. It'll be awkward. They both in both movies do awkward so well. They're I so could not put them in a movie together like, or in a room together, like you said. Oh my god. I feel that like that's just who they are, though. Like that's the that's yeah. the funny part is like that's just their personality shining through. Yes. And like. It's just not. It's just not I like that with the Amazing Spider-Man. The Spider-Man in the first one is is more of like a quiet, like oh, yeah, he's quiet. Spider-Man. But then he's Andrew Garfield is more like a mumbling, like I'm just, uh, I got webs. He's and more stuff. of like the yeah. like who don't get webs and stuff. The eccentric genius. Yeah. While like Tobey Maguire is more like the nerdy kind of shy. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. It's, it's different. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's a, it's a different awkward and kind of yeah. shyness. Yeah. I think Andrew Garfield brings a lot more humor. Too, yeah, I think Parker. so too. Yeah, I, I agree. think that's where he shines, and that's what separates him a little bit. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. I feel like even though there was a lot of like tense scenes in the Amazing Spider-Man, it was a, it was a lot lighter. Definitely, yeah. I feel like it was it was too. Um, yeah, because because I feel like uh, his uncle's death kind of overshadowed the movie more. In, in the first, first one, one? Yes. Yeah. in this Definitely one, it was there and it was sad, but it didn't bring him down. Like As I don't know, much... it didn't lead him down a darker path. Yeah. Than in than the first one. I feel like it affected him more in the original than it did in the yes. Amazing Spider-Man, and like not to, it's not necessarily a better or worse thing that that no, happened. But I agree. I feel like his death in the original was more believable than his death in the Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah it was just all too convenient. It was. It was just like all of a sudden, and like, and I feel like he had more of a reason in the original to be like, "Well, fuck you," to the, so um. Yeah, it's like he just in this Amazing Spider-Man, he just stole some beer and was trying to run away. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and like, I, I felt. To, yeah. Uh, I felt like that was kind of okay. Yeah, the Amazing yeah. Spider-Man. I think Uncle Ben brought it upon himself. Yeah. Is that? I mean, we don't really know that for the original Spider-Man. That could, the same thing could have happened, but yeah. But like, you didn't see we that didn't part. We didn't see it, so yeah. yeah. And like. Uncle Ben was a little happen. bit more, and like, it's not that he was more involved, but he was more of like, mm, he was annoying. Yeah, Uncle yeah. Ben was a little bit of a dick sometimes. Yeah. Oh wait, which one? In this one? Yeah. In the Amazing the Spider-Man. I think so too. I but feel I, you like that character was more like involved, more involved. in Peter's life in, yeah. in the second I feel one. like in the original he was trying to be like, he wanted to be a father figure, but knew he wasn't a father figure, and he was trying to be an uncle. Like he was, yeah. he was like fighting between like raising a kid and like. Being this kid's like guardian, but not really his father. Mm-hmm. In the Amazing Spider-Man, you could tell he he, had he took on that role. Life. Yeah, like he took that on yes. that role. Even though for some reason I felt worse when he died in the original than I. Yeah, felt. me too. Yeah. I agree. I think it's because of the circumstances too. Yeah. But uh, and especially what was last said. Yeah, that's true. Um. Also. Uh, I mean, I can't remember. Yeah, I was talking about the Amazing Spider-Man's. Uh, uh, damn, I can't remember what I was gonna say about oh. the big Spider Man's uncle. Damn, I don't remember. I had it, I forgot. Oh. Uh, I, yeah, I think it, I feel like, yeah, his his death wasn't as, didn't like impact as much. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think overall he was like a better uncle. You could tell he felt more, he was more involved and. Yeah. Somehow yeah. I feel like in the original it was better. I don't know. I think maybe because I liked him more. For some okay. reason, like, I feel like, I guess maybe because you can tell that, you can tell that Tobey Maguire is kind of like, oh, really sad about it, and like, it's a real big thing, like, so that makes you feel like there's more to their relationship than you actually saw on screen, and yeah. I feel like, in The Amazing Spider-Man, not the same, I don't know. Yeah, when I feel like it's it like should have le- been. Yeah, it's like it less, in- more yeah, it's like less important somehow, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I think I also like the suit better in the Amazing Spider-Man. I don't know about you guys. Uh, it does like look cooler, but we did watch it in Blu-ray, yeah. so yeah, I that's true. Yeah. Fine details. I didn't yeah. really have an opinion on either. I think they were both okay. Yeah, they, both, they but, both show their purpose. But like, I wasn't like, oh, I like this one more than this one. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, I like the Spider-Man. Way I don't think they drastically cool. changed. Yeah. Really. No. Not like you know, like Batman suit has changed yeah. throughout time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not Spider-Man's the same thing. It's the same, same yeah. similar, but. Um, the last thing I have is really, I think, the swinging scenes in Amazing Spider-Man were way more exciting. Like, yeah. they were they were great in both, but I think the Amazing Spider-Man put more, I don't want to say effort into that. It just, 
it spent more time with him flying around and like seeing it around. Felt it felt more effortless, I think. Yeah. Yeah, like it felt like they didn't have to try to be like action y or like make it flow. Mm -hmm. It just sort of went that way. It looked more visually pleasing to see yeah. how he did it. Just like going through glass and through small parts and just going through alleys. It looked, looked, it looked really cool. Looked I think really that cool. added to it. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree as well. That's all I've got. Yeah. You know, I don't have anything else. Yeah. <laughs> All it's right. twelve thirty. Yeah, yeah it's, let's it's, decide which tight. which way we're going. Okay. Um, last week we ended up with you, Jeff. Mm -hmm. mm. How about I go first, Jeff? You go second, and then Lex, you go last. last. Okay. okay. Man, I'm nervous. I'm still kind of like torn. I'm. S I still really? don't know. I'm gonna decide, <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna decide in I, five seconds. Am I the only one who knows? <laughs> you look like it. <laughs> Okay, so after both cases were made, and the decision is coming to my head, <laughs> I think I will choose to save... What do I choose to save? Oh no! I don't blame you, it's no. hard. I'm hoping you take this longer really time to hard. think. Oh. Why is this easy for me? I don't know. <laughs> what am I missing? <laughs> Uh, I'm quickly reading my notes like... Oh, Jeff. <laughs> the first Spider-Man. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> All right. This is hard. I really, I really do like them both. And this is all really hard. Um, But I think I'm going to have to go with The Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, oh, every I film group has gone my way. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> and hopefully until now, but I, I don't know. I think Andrew Garfield is part of the reason it kind of so, sells me to it. I don't know. I'm sorry. Me, guys. I have a lot of nostalgia factor for the first one. Yeah, so I don't blame you. Uh, now, Alexis, you're trying to break the tie. See, um, <laughs> are you not allowed to win again? I had kind of an issue kind with picking <laughs> because I thought I was going to pick one like definitively, and then I wound up swinging the other way. Swinging. And my decision is for <laughs> the amazing Spider-Man. Yeah! Mm. <laughs> mm. On the winning side this time. <laughs> I swear I thought I was going to pick the original, but I, I thought nostalgia was going to take over, but I was wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you are wrong. Put <laughs> 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 your mom in the air. You deserve it. <laughs> well... That this is gonna pay you, I'm you sure. You can take oh. that home, boy. <laughs> Fine. It's yours. <laughs> is that your uh, suit in there? Are you... I oh. am Chick Fil A man. Oh. Oh. Sponsored by Chick Fil A, not really. You're the cow. Please. You might as well be. <laughs> we work there. Yeah. <laughs> I work the wild west. So. All right. <laughs> Another so. awesome <laughs> week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank Make sure you. to like, comment, and subscribe. And like us on Facebook for the next film feud. And we will see you guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye. Let's, Bye. Bye. <laughs> Let's go original Spider-Man. Oh. Okay. I defended you. Defend me. <laughs>